you guys. Okay, so I'm like, should I have done something to my hair? No, I'm just gonna leave it. I just did my makeup for you guys in my lap for my last video, and I just, you know, pinned my hair back. I think I'm just gonna leave it so that it's not in my face. Listen, okay, so much to talk about today. I accumulated more empties faster than usual. Products that I've used up, some new, some old. The absolute best way to review a product, I feel, is to like use it, use it up. If someone's actually used a product completely up, I trust what they say, you know what I mean? It's not like, this was sent to me last week and I tried it and I hated it and it's like I used it once and there's like not a dent in it and the seal isn't even like broken on it, so. You missed my last video. We talked about a lot of stuff, including, what do you guys think? Okay, if you didn't see my last video and you're seeing this one, what do you think? Should I stay blonde or should I color it just a little darker? I think what I might start with is doing like a little bit of like a, like a shadow, just letting it grow out, first of all, a little bit. Um, cause I don't like to color it too often. And, and I feel like I have lately, I've gotten in that habit of coloring it like every few months, which is not what I usually do. And I feel like, um, all that bleach is just like not good for my hair. And I, I don't know, like I know if I color it, it's gonna be like, well, it's like back to, I don't, I don't know, I love it blonde. But at the same time, I look back at pictures where I had like pretty like caramely, I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. I think I might start off with just like some really obnoxious roots and just like get her to shadow it a little or just to see what she thinks and like get it a little. I don't know. Y'all know me. I am like, I'm light, I'm dark, I'm short, I'm long. I don't know what I, I don't know. I'm just ready for a little bit of a change. I like the length and I think I'm just gonna like gradually like grow it and just see what it does. I'm not like dying for it to be long. I really like it this length, but I don't think I'm gonna get it cut super short again. Um, but the color is like my new, my new thing that I'm kind of like back and forth on. Okay, let's go. So in these videos, you guys, in these empties videos, I also like to pair it with products that I am not feeling. Just products that I have tried that I haven't used completely, but I know are just not my thing. Things that didn't work out. So let's go. All right. The first thing that I'm going to talk about, we'll get to empties in a minute, but Something that I got that I just did not love. I put it back in the package because I was like, do I need to send this back? I mean, it was kind of expensive, but I just don't get it. Okay, so it's the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette Professional Performance Pure. Okay, well, it says freaking, okay, it says Pure Shimmer, and that is literally what it is. Blendable Highlight and Blush. So let me tell you. It's like on Sephora, it has like, you know, all these beautiful girls. I think it like Bella Hadid's on there with like her. And you can't look like that with this. I'm sorry. I just feel like you can't look like that with this because it is like straight, like, I don't even know. It's just so glittery. I don't, I don't know. It is so glittery. And like the, this color, I was like, yes, because I love a good like light, um, you know, highlighter, but it's, it's just so glittery. I will say it's like blendable and smooth like highlighters that I like. But instead of it being like a smooth sheen, it's just like shimmer, like so much shimmer. And then this is supposed to be blush, but like who on earth? Look how it's making that little thing pop. Good night. And then this one is very orange. It's kind of very brownie, orangey. Listen, I don't, it's just, it's not wearable for me. I feel like when I want a glow, I like a blush that may have a bit of a glow to it, like the one I've been wearing lately, but I don't want like blush, bronzer, highlighter, whatever the heck this other thing is. I, I don't do gold, y'all know, I don't do gold on my face, but I just feel like it's a lot, you know? It's very, it's very unique because it's just solid shimmer, you know? And it's just, that's something that I just cannot do. Like. I am for a really like strobey highlighter occasionally. It's a really obnoxious like tractor or something. I'm really for an obnoxious like strobey highlighter, but it's gotta be just like a flash, like a sheen, like almost liquidy looking flash. This is very just shimmery. So I, I could have done without the pure shimmer. I think it would have been great had it not have been that too much time spent on that Tiffany. Okay, if I got these two palettes from Benefit, and when I pulled it out, I was like, holy goodness, like, 
This reminded me, do you guys remember my palette for Sigma, which I loved so much, love that so much, but that was done like literally what, like seven, eight years ago. I don't even know how long ago that was. And looking back, I'm like, I would have done the packaging different, but that's just how it was. You know, like that's what, what is that outside? That's how their packaging was, you know? And it's like now, obviously like they do it much more sleek, but that's just how it was, whatever, I loved it. But I'm like, why did Benefit have to go and do that? Like this, okay, let me tell you, Benefit I feel like has some really good products. But sometimes it's a little nuts. Like, and these are some of my favorite products. They're the Dallas powder. Love the dandelion. The hula is good. I have kind of a love-hate relationship with it. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. The California is really good, or California or whatever. So this is a good palette. But dang do I wish it was in like a really sleek thing. And this tickle color is new. And it's funny because when you swatch it, it can kind of like roll up a little bit. But when you use your brush on it, it doesn't do that. But um, it's actually really pretty. It's kind of like NARS Orgasm in a highlighter, if that makes sense. It's like a pinky, goldy, maybe a little too much for me to use as a highlighter, but I could use it just as a sweep, you know, over. Um, but sometimes, you know, things do get a little gold for me, so it's just not, not my thing. But love the way these powders smell. Oh. Is this a good video? Uh, Tiffany, what are you even talking about? Is this a good video or a bad video? But listen, I'm gonna keep these because I like all of this, but I wish they would have made it sleek. What is under there? These, honestly though, you do get a lot of product with these, so maybe it's just that it's like that thick. I don't know, I wish it was sleeker and less like papery. And then this, so this is the Cheek Leaders. It's like a whole cheerleader theme. I don't know. And then, which, I just, just put it in the palette. You don't have to, okay, whatever. Not my problem, I don't own the company. I'm, they're killing it, I'm, listen, they know what they're doing. Cheerleaders, Cheek, wait, bleh, Cheek Leaders Bronze Squats. These are all like the bronzy colors. So I'm surprised Dallas wasn't in here. I mean, I guess this makes sense because they put the two. Honestly though, these are my favorite. So I'm glad that these are in here. Even though Dallas, I would have put in the bronzy one. This one I'm glad is the way it is because these are all my favorites. These, not so much. Um, these aren't, you know, so you get the regular Hula, which is in the other, and the Hula Caramel, which is a little dark for me, Coralista, and then Gold Rush. But Cookie, actually, I wish, you know what I might do? I could like pry it out and stick the other one. I like Cookie better than the other one. See how pretty that is? So um, maybe I could like pry those out in some way or just keep both of these. So. But look how big, you know what I mean? It's just a lot. The Erica Jane stuff. Okay, so I feel like she can do no wrong. Like I said, I love her so much. She's like one of my favorites. And I know this is like a video of like regrets, things that I don't like. And I can't say, let me say, listen, I'm gonna talk about, I'll talk about things that I do like, but I'm gonna have to talk about this because I didn't like it. So her eyeshadow palette, it was so weird. When I flung it open, and maybe this is superficial, maybe this is weird, but whatever. It smells like those, eyeshadows that were in those big giant palettes I used to use that were good eyeshadows but they were like wholesale do you know what I mean like, you know like a wholesale eyeshadow that's what it sm smells like but they're beautiful colors I think she did a really good job with the colors the glitter honestly I think she did pretty well too it's like one of those glitters that like I mean when you put it on it is like glitter you know what I mean it's like flecky glitter so use a good base but, you know, so I like it, but I feel like some of the colors are kind of chunky, like these two at the bottom. The matte ones are pretty smooth. I love the colors that she chose, but something about this does not seem like, I don't, I don't want to say this, but I just feel like it doesn't feel like the regular Too Faced um, formula. Do you guys feel like that? Because I love Too Faced eyeshadows, like obsessed. I feel like they're always really, really good. And something about these, I don't know, maybe it's just that it's not like scented, like some of them have like scent. It just, it was just weird to me, I don't know. I wouldn't use this powder because it's too gold and it's very, very soft. When you swatch it, I mean, look, it is very intense. And again, I always say, hey, why are you finger swatching things? It's not how you do it. So, but I get it, when you use a brush, it'll be different, but it is like very yellow and a little cakey. Do you know what I mean? It's very like a thick, soft, a little cakey, so I think that would've been perfect if it were less um, yellowy, unless if you just really like a yellowy highlighter. This I really liked, okay? Now, this is the um, Puss powder. Now, listen, it's really cute, and I'm thinking, like, this girl, like, she did it, like, I like that she did this collaboration and wasn't just like, yeah, give me some lipsticks and some, you know, an eyeshadow palette. She did something different. 
And I have not had anything like this since my, do you remember the Benefit powders that were like this? And I loved them. So first of all, it smells delicious. When you really want to feel a little special, you just, you know, you just kind of get it in there and you, there's, you know, the powder kind of comes out and it's, and it's like this sparkly, pretty powder and it's actually really, really beautiful. And listen, I don't, I don't need glitter on me all the time, but like, you know, if you were going to, I don't put this on me because I'm about to go to the grocery store. Should I? I don't know. I can't, I can't do that to myself. Um, I don't know. It smells like caramelly, like deliciousness. I don't know. I really like it, but it makes your skin look like slightly sun-kissed and sparkly. And it is, it's a little extra, you know? So I hate to say, if you're going to get something from her collection, get this powder. I know it's been out for a while, but you know, whatever. It's probably sold out, but I just wanted to kind of talk about that since I hadn't. Okay. So let's talk about some other things that I didn't like. Let's talk about a few empties. And this is also a product that I didn't like. This was not an empty, but I threw it in here because I was going to show it with this. So with this. So I need to keep this because it's good. So the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. I love this. It's not a true dry shampoo, but you know, it's not going to get rid of like oil and dirt, but it's going to give you a ton of volume and grit. I got this Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo by accident one time when I ordered this. They sent this to me by mistake and I just thought, whatever, I need dry shampoo. I'll keep it. This is difficult for me because it's like you have to use so much of it. It's not very gritty, but it's one of those dry shampoos that you really have to like, if you are a little oily and you are going to like truly use it as a dry shampoo, like to refresh your hair on a day that you don't want to wash it, you have to use so much of it to even like make it look better that your hair is just piled up with dry shampoo. Um, I have the Warm Vanilla Sugar Super Throwback product, the Bath and Body Works um, Shower Gel. And this was like a freebie that I grabbed one day. I had this little thing like where, you know, it was like a free, grab a free product under $12.50 or whatever, which this is $12.50. These things are so expensive. I'm not saying the ingredients aren't great. I don't know. I mean, like this, this first, it's like wa the first ingredient is water and the second one is like a sulfate, sulfate, sulfate. Who cares? A perfume. I'm not saying it's, that's bad because I use products, so I'm not, I get, I'm not like police. I'm not, but I'm saying, why is this so expensive? Why are these so expensive? It's a beautiful shower gel. It lathers up nicely, but girl, like I'll go buy some dial at the grocery store and they've got like some really good flavors. Y'all know Brad's like a body wash. Like he gets really excited about body wash at the grocery store, like at Target. And so he always picks out like funny ones. And um, so we always have like, we're always like stocked with body washes, but he likes those dial ones. And I do too. Like there's a coconut water one. Let me go see the one we have. Cause it's actually really, really good. Hold on. Okay. This is funny. So this is actually really good. Okay. So coconut oil. Oh, so dial coconut oil, nourishing, clean rinsing micro oil. This smells, oh, you guys, this smells so good. This is like heavenly, I love it. Like why do you even, yeah, I'm mean, gonna have some fancy shower gel too, but then he has this one, the Omega Moisture, Moisturizing Body Wash. That one smells like oranges. I can see why he, he likes orangey stuff, so. I have my bougie shower gel too that I like. So it was like the Bath and Body Works one was my one that I was using and now it's, um, I'm using the Colleen Rothschild Honey Vanilla Creamy Oil Body Wash, which I'm obsessed with, I love. And this has like legit good ingredients in it. Like you can read the ingredients even if you know nothing about ingredients and you can tell like, okay, these are a little better. Kukui oil, Baraji oil, jojoba, coconut oil, burrito oil, shea butter, exotic oil, botanical extracts, blah, blah, blah. You know, I mean, listen, there is a difference, but sometimes I think like maybe with some of the Bath and Body works -y stuff and maybe there's not so much of a difference. Okay, so I finally decided that this is disgusting and I need to get rid of it. The Jo Malone Red Roses bath oil. When we redid our bathroom like years and years ago, I bought this bath oil to like put next to my thing, you know, and like have this whole little thing. And it was red and pretty. And over time, it like changed colors, and I never really like. I would have to put so much in the bath to even smell. It smells like an old, it smells like like an old dried flower, and I'm like, it is literally the color PP. Like I'm not doing that anymore. So would I splurge on that again? No. It's it's like come on. I just got excited. The Kopari deodorant, you guys. I just like. I feel so good when I use it. I feel like I'm doing something for my body. That's nice. And um, I don't know. I, I if I ever do go back to an antiperspirant, I just feel so like I was like disappointed in myself, but I just feel kind of like, ugh. 
have another Kapari product, the Coconut Cleansing Oil. It's kind of what I replaced my Basha Makeup Breakup Cleansing Oil with. Really good, love this. Worked very similarly. I feel like maybe it was a little thicker sometimes. I could get more, you know, a little easier to get my, um, my eyes stuff off with. Um, the Sigma Scrub, you guys need to try this if you have not. I love that so much. And you know what, you can even keep this after, let me show you what, where is my, I always have one. Yeah, I'd be like, it'd be weird if it wasn't there. I always have it next to my sink. So um, this is what it looks like when it's fairly new. I mean, when it's really new, you can't really see the top of it very much at all, but it's like a, a solid cleanser and you, you know, just clean your um, brushes. I really do like these. And you know, you can keep this and use it, you know, to clean your brushes with after the soap is gone. So, I mean, you could do that if you wanted to. So I love that. This is just my favorite, the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash, the cream cleanser. I've already purchased another one of those. That's what I use in the morning. And then my Lancer, um, the Method Polish for Oily and Congested Skin is what I use every night. And I've already repurchased another one of those. I always have a lot of skincare stuff because I just use the same things. My Kate Somerville Anti-Back. I've already got another one of those. My Max Complexion Correction Pads, I already got another one of those, I use those at night. This I had to get rid of, you guys, and I think I talked about it in a last, in a previous, gosh, it seems like that wasn't that long ago. Was that an empties video that I did? Chloe and Malika bronzer. I don't understand how this gets good reviews, it's just, this is, literally I used it twice. This is what it looked like when I got it, like it was already destroyed. And it's just nothing super special. I don't know, I think they could have done a lot better with that. That was just not good. The Watermelon Pink Glow Juice Moisturizer. For a while when I got these, I sort of replaced my nighttime moisturizer, which was my um, my Clinique Moisture Surge with this. And I really do like it. These weren't a huge, this was not a huge size of it. Um, I also have the nighttime one that's the sleeping mask that's a little thicker. But I really just liked this one. I'd say if you're gonna buy it, get this one, the Watermelon Pink Glow Juice Moisturizer. It is thin, it's like a beautiful serum. So I might purchase that again, I really liked it. Lancome Absolute Precious Cells, the Nourishing Lip Balm Honey and Rose. This came in that um, set that I talked about a while back and I blew through that, you better believe, because I love that. I could see myself repurchasing that, but I'm just so, I feel like I'm overrun with lip stuff. And I have the um, the Sarah Hap, just the regular, you know, lip balm that I use. And then I have the nighttime one. So I'm like, I don't need to get any other <laughs> lip stuff. The Buxom Celeste. It looks like there's a little left of this, but I could not get any more out of it. I love these little travel ones for my purse. I have this Better Than Sex. I just use mascara every single day, pretty much. And I just, I go through it. I don't, like I very rarely will keep one like a super long time. The CoverGirl brow pencil that I raved about, you guys, literally, okay, these pencils are like teeny tiny bits of product. You might think, oh wow, this is what, that's a lot. When the pencil is like hair thin, they go so fast, like the um, the Brow Wiz and stuff. And I repurchased the Brow Wiz, and I'm not kidding, like it just feels nicer when you open it up, you know, the pencil doesn't come flying out. I hope you guys enjoy talking about the not so great with me today, because <laughs> I feel like we always talk about such great things, and I think it is important to kind of balance it out and share with you guys the things that don't work as well. So, hope that y'all enjoyed it. I'll link to some of the things that I think are worth trying, and the, other thing, the good stuff that I mentioned. I'll link to what I'm wearing, of course. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. So many fun things coming up. Home stuff, clothing stuff. I know we talked about this so much in the last video, but, um, but yeah, so many things I'm excited about coming up as always. I'm just always so excited to spend this time with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and being here. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye, y'all.